Hi, my name is Pastor Giselle, and I want to share with you, stop attacking me. One sure attack you'll deal with over and over will be your own thoughts. The adversary wants to create havoc to your emotions and turmoil in your mind. This battle is not ours. It's already been won. I'll give you a couple of scriptures. 1 Peter 2, 24 who his own self bare our sins in his body upon the tree, that we, having died unto sin, might live unto righteousness. By his stripes you were healed. And Romans 5.12 says, When Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death, so death spread to everyone and for everyone. It will take training your mind to switch directions when your negative thoughts start to attack. We have a key weapon in Christ to stop these thoughts. Remember, there is power in the name of Jesus. It is imperative we learn to activate spiritual warfare in our thought life. First and foremost, we have to think on these things. Philippians 4, 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these. We will learn a couple of new ways to take control of our thoughts. Ask yourself, where is this thought coming from? Once you've determined the origin, meditate on Philippians 4 and 8. If your mind continues to be under attack, say delete to that thought. So this is the example. They never call me. They always, they don't want to be around me. Delete. You hear it again. Delete. You hear it again. Cancel. Um, as I stated earlier in the study, we're going to use delete cancel, erase, and rebuke. And I might not have said we were going to do all of those, but those you all need. So I'll repeat it again. Delete, cancel, erase, and rebuke. These words will help to trigger you on deleting the thought, canceling the thought, and erasing the thought, and so on. So just imagine how many negative thoughts we get. You will be casting down negative thoughts a lot, but it will become second nature. This is a training exercise, and you will find it helpful training your mind. It has the ability to begin a new habit. The enemy will have to flee. Romans 12, 2. Don't be like the people of this world, but let God change the way you think. Then you will know how to do everything that is good and pleasing to him. Here's the greatest part. Jesus died so that we all might be saved, which gave us the tools to fight the adversary with his name. I pray peace and blessings in your life. Amen.